Audio Hello everybody, what is going on? This is KJS here, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install a GTA 5 5M server. It's actually very easy. So what you need to do is get a 7-zip uh, installation, which I did. It's not that hard. Uh, you just go to the website and download your version, either 32-bit or 64 uh, download it, install, I'll put a link in the description, then you go ahead and go over into 7-zip and go ahead and extract the uh, file that's in there. I'll also link this file in the description. So go ahead and open this up. Uh, so here's all the stuff. So go ahead and go into uh, set map over here. So this is everything that you will be using. I have uh, port forwarded to 4499. I'll go ahead and show you also how to do that. So the actually you know what no no that's on a different server so let me go ahead and open this up. So you're just going to want to keep that default unless you want to run it on another port which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and change your password if you want a password. It's just going to be whatever I want so you know I'm just going to go. It's not that big a deal. So now we're also going to go change the host name to whatever you want there we go easy uh so this right here will change uh basically when you launch 5m it'll just change what uh you do so i wouldn't mess with this uh if i were you but sometimes if i want to just make my uh server be on whitelit like not able to be viewed on the server page I would change that, but you don't have to. So don't change that either. Uh, announce true. So you'll, if you do this, you'll hide from the online server list, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. It's not something I want to be shown. Uh, so if you go ahead and do this, this will uh, make it to where people have to have Steam in order to sign in, which will uh, allow for whitelisting. So uh, this is gonna allow you to install stuff. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Then you can change uh, the uh, server uh, logo if you'd want, and that's all the settings that's in there. Go ahead and click save. Uh, so the logo, what you do is just, here it is. You can change this to whatever you want. Then what you do is go ahead and click. Go ahead and log into your router. Uh, now that you're in your router, go ahead and uh, go into advanced administration. This will be different from for uh, others, but this is just how you get support forwarding here. So what you do now is press Control R or Command R and type in CMD. Then go ahead and now type in IP config forward uh, space forward slash all. Now that you're here, go and look for your default gateway. This will tell you where to go on here, and it will also tell you right here your IPv4 address. This is what I have set. Uh, you're going to want to do that just by going into here, open network and sharing. Go just follow what I'm doing here. Double click on that, and then go ahead and set these to here. So you just want to go ahead and keep this right here to the same with uh, this, except right here. You're going to change that. Then you're just going to click this and it'll automatically put it in. Then you put your default gateway, which is shown in here. Then over here, you're just going to copy exactly what I have in. This is Google, so it's fast and usable. And then go ahead and click OK, OK, and it'll uh, go and update for you. You will lose internet connection for a brief moment, and then you'll be able to do more. So uh, you don't need this anymore. And just go ahead and type in what you had. And uh, service, actually, uh, I'm going to have to add a custom service. Of course. Let me go ahead and uh, just open this. Control C. Exit. Exit. Paste. Paste. And then you're going to want to go ahead and type 7.9 or whatever you set. Click apply. And done. All right. We are back. So let me just go in here uh, and change that. Uh, and also, in order to install resources, it's very simple. What you do is you just put in your whatever you want. So I have IV pack, hands up, speed camera, and cuff. And then you just put it in here. It's not that hard. And then it'll load up. So now just go and launch sitmap. And there it goes. It works just fine. So uh, I will go and link the everything in the description. Now let me go ahead and launch by then and connect. So I'm actually right now also playing on a laptop. So it's going to be a little bit laggier. Now I have two net two of these running on my network right now. So but that should be fine because nobody's connected to either one of them. All right, so it's just going to take a little bit longer for me to load everything because it is, of course, a laptop, but it is not that bad of a laptop. And then this is it right up here. It's got uh, zero 
lag because it of course right here oh and I joined the other one but it's the same exact server so it sh should be fine all right there we go now we are connected and uh yeah it does take a minute for it to load up but it does load up and uh yeah so that's everything so once you have this all set up you're done have a great day